<clears throat> when you're truly in the present moment, there are no thoughts going through your mind. Everything becomes meditation. When I make my coffee, when I shower, when I enjoy my coffee with my with my best friend here, Mr. Tai, out there in the sound room, bird watching, there are no thoughts, no worries of tomorrow, no feelings of yesterday. The, the veil continuously removes itself when you become everything after you become nothing, no thing. Everything we see, touch, is an illusion. That's why that's why when you are in the present moment, you begin to be, become one with the source. <clears throat> one with you. The real you. The higher self you that is also you. Don't allow the words to frustrate you. Don't allow my words to confuse you. Pay attention to the space between my words and look for the direction what, that my words are pointing to, which is the truth, the you that is whole, the you that is abundant inherently, the you that is eternal. That's your purpose. That's the purpose for humanity. To re realize how powerful you are, who you are. You and I are not different. You and I are the same person. And when you feel it during your meditation, in the present moment, when you have had no thoughts for some time, you become pure love. You can't help but bless the other parts of you, which is everything, all people. You know when they say, the more you give, the more you receive? Because you're not really giving to other people. You're giving it to you. They're not different from you. More than 99% of everything and everyone is energy, pure consciousness, which is you. The love we give away is the only love we get to keep. That's because you're giving love to yourself when you give love. It's so easy to be in awe of life and be in love in the present moment. Everything feels so beautiful. One of the things that happens when you have a mystical experience and you have these deep meditative states, it makes you very quiet. for some time, until you get through to the other side. And you have more clarity on everything. Then that silence is broken. And you're back to the new normal personality, the new person, the new personality of you. But during, until you have processed it, 
until you have become the new you, it just makes you so silent. And then you start to enjoy being alone in that silence. So you can be in the present moment without distractions. You can meditate. Some of you guys are so surprised that you can meditate for two hours, three hours. And prior to coming to this work, sometimes you would do a 15 to 30 minute meditation and you were done with it. But now you're in love with it because you're experiencing all of existence in its entirety of you. The moment you, the moment you, you see 2% of you, 3% of you, that's already so much. You live in this illus illusionary world of less than 1% of your existence. And through this work, you start to see more and more the bliss, the love, the feelings, the random emotions. And what you experience when you get out of the meditation and you're confused, but it felt good, or your body is changing and upgrading. And you continue for months and years until your life starts to change because you have been changing genetically, biologically, chemically, electromagnetically. It changes your personality. <clears throat> which then changes your personal reality. How freeing is it? How freeing is it when you realize that you can never be a victim? You can never be sick. You can never be in lack. Fear is also an illusion. How freeing is it? that you're in control of everything. In the beginning of the work, it doesn't make sense. But that's because you're looking at the illusion part of you. You're still looking at the less than 1% of you. The moment you see the rest of you, the rest of the existence, everything changes. You, you start to see, you start to look at things differently. And when you look at things differently, the things that you're observing change, your senses change, your DNA changes, so the expression of different genes will change. And when that phase comes in this work. You have already created so many things within you. You've changed things within you. That you start to play with it more freely. To create new things. Love. What else is there to do in this life other than to create and enjoy? Create, share. Spread love and enjoy the experience until you exit this reality and you become pure consciousness again. Pure bliss. Everyone becomes enlightened when they quote unquote die. Why not have the rebirth and enjoy this world? the way you want. I have so much more to share with you guys. I'll be capturing my entire journey, the eight days or nine days that I'll be in Mexico in a few weeks. I was just thinking about purpose. So I thought, let me record my thoughts 
that I want to think about carefully on camera and then see if, um, if it's worth posting. What do you guys think? I love you.